Hey everybody, welcome back to the Country Living Homestead. Today, we are going to be revamping our duck enclosure and putting in a new chicken coop for our breast chickens. Stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so to kind of give you an idea of what we're going to be doing, so we're removing all of this old chicken wire because this is getting pretty nasty and the weeds are growing into it and it's just time for it to go. Plus, we're going to be expanding our duck area out that direction because we found an incredible deal for a swimming pool for them. So we're going to put a swimming pool right back there for them. And then also we've got our breast chickens. Uh, we're going to be taking that and moving that a little this direction and also bringing our uh, storage shed. We're gonna bring that down, convert that into the coop for those guys. And uh, so right now, I'm just kind of removing these old posts and removing this old fence. Uh, we use some temporary electric fence to kind of hold them in uh, in an area where we wanna contain them so that way they're not in our way as we're trying to get this done. Okay, everyone, so today I'm going to be converting this old shed that we picked up into a chicken coop. So here's my thoughts so far. So here's what we did. So I've already used the tractor, pushed it back here, got it up against the producer's pride chicken run that we purchased at Tractor Supply. And if you haven't watched our video on how to set one of those up, click right here and push that right up against that so it's a nice good fit so that panel will actually come out you can kind of see the screws like there's some right there and over there and over there so those screws will come out and uh, that panel will come out once i get the hole for the chicken hole if that's for lack of better terms <laughs> so here's what i'm thinking so to start i'll give you a little tour in here it's actually a very nice size In really good shape and uh, so ended up buying some linoleum because it just seems that linoleum is so much easier to keep clean in a chicken coop I mean you can clean these things out so much easier when you've got linoleum on the floor so it's just a matter of a quick scrub down and you're good to go so but anyhow so my thought is over here on the side see how there's like spacing in between these braces here so what I'm gonna do is is cut some open holes here and I'm thinking probably four because I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So if I go four, one, two, three, four, that's going to give me one on each side, nice and even. So we'll cut the holes in here, something like this, but then on the outside. So I want to make sure that, of course, with rain and snow, that it all flows off of the roof and off of the laying box so the idea is to build an angle to make sure that the hinges fit underneath here so you can be able to flip them open and get inside there to get the eggs out so that's kind of the first plan of attack so i'm going to take some measurements see how that goes and uh, we're going to get started Okay, so I think for the first length, or actually should I say height of this, is probably going to be around 24 inches. That's going to give me plenty of room to be able to install the hinges up top, plus give some room on the bottom, and then also give lots of room inside the nesting box. So 24 inches, I think that's what I'm going to go with for right now, and uh, then I'll take some additional measurements to, uh, to get this tweaked in the right direction. Okay, so this measurement looks to be like it's going to be around 14 inches. Then I measured up about 12 inches. That should still give enough. 
area. So I'm just gonna measure this at 14. And plus, that's actually going to allow me to do a little bit steeper of a pitch, which is good. I, I was hoping to get like a really steep pitch anyways. So this is actually gonna work out perfect. So now, got a much steeper pitch. Still plenty of room for a chicken in there to hatch an egg or lay an egg, should I say. Well, I guess they could hatch them in there too, but we'll just draw a line straight down. That definitely looks much better. So let me get this cut out. We'll hold it up there and see what it looks like. That's going to be plenty of room in there now. Nice good pitch as well. I think that's exactly what we needed right there. So, 14 inches, 24 inches tall, and then I measured up about 12 inches to here and uh, just angled it just like that. So, that's going to work out pretty well. So, definitely make another piece like this and then we'll have our ends done. So here's my thought. So what I'm gonna do is cut a hole somewhere in this area. I'll show you on the inside because it's probably gonna be easier. So basically what I wanna do is I want this to be open so the chicken can get in to the nesting box. All you need to do is take a brace, lay it on here, attach it to that inner brace that's in there cut out the hole, run the brace down from like here down to here, and then the inside of this will be able to slide up and attach right there. Okay, so now here's what I got going on in the inside. So I just wanna cut a large enough area so that way the chicken can get into the nesting box. So I'm thinking about right in there because I wanna leave just a little bit of room, number one, for the piece of plywood that's gonna go on the top to hinge open. And then also for the hinge. So we need some space for the hinge as well. So it's about right in here. So what I'm doing is, is basically just measuring this right now to get an idea. So that's about 24 and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna do the same thing over here on this side just to make sure that, that we get the right spacing and then also that uh, this is going to be nice and straight across and uh, I'm just going to drill a couple of holes like four holes take my sawzall cut a nice square in there so now's the fun part is to cut a hole in the side of this building yay hope it turns out good Okay, so now, decision time. How large do I make the space for the chicken? So I'm almost thinking probably, I don't know, maybe uh, probably about 16 inches should probably do it. So I'm just going to mark 16 inches right here. That's roughly about eight and a half from the top. So I'll just go eight and a half from the top here, make a nice straight line across. I think that should be perfect. Now to get a nice straight line in here, I'm just gonna basically use my tape measure, line it up here, something like that. And I'm just gonna draw a line across it. That should give me a pretty straight line. There we go. That looks pretty good. I'm going to do the same 
same thing up top up here. Golly, that looks like a hole in the wall. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. I'm almost wondering if I should cut a two by four in half, so that way it's kind of thinner to run down this strip here and allow this to connect to it. think yeah I think I'm gonna do that only because it's gonna make for less a lot less waste for one and uh, I get double the use out of a 2 by 4 by doing it that way so yeah I think I'm gonna do that just rip a 2 by 4 in half the table saw attach it to that 2 by 4 in there and then this should attach this direction. Let's give it a go. Okay, so I've ripped this 2x4 in half. Now we got a couple pieces of bracing boards. Um, I measured 20 inches. That's about going to be right for what we need for this area. So I'm going to go ahead and cut that right now. tinkering here and there we've now made a beautiful chicken coop out of this so I'll show you the inside so we put in a nice little roost bar here so that way they can uh, roost in the evening and over here I actually created a trap door so basically this little pulley here from outside I can grab a hold of the string lower that down and it closes the chickens in and we pull the string out and it raises it back up again. There's a little block right here that actually stops this from going up too far. So it hits there and we know that it's already up the, uh, the whole way. So that actually works out pretty well. And uh, just a piece of nylon string, a little pulley, and drill a hole in the middle of a piece of plywood. A couple pieces of wood on the side as a slide and good to go. And over here, I'll actually show you outside, but these are the nest boxes that uh, we had created for in here. And uh, we wanted to do four because we've been noticing that when you start having more chickens, you need more nesting boxes. So we don't want to have our eggs busted or anything like that, but I'll show you how you get to that from the outside. And here we just kind of drilled a hole up in the top to allow us to tie a nice big feeder here for them. So now we won't have to be feeding them all the time. So that actually worked pretty well. So, and basically we just lined the floor with some new linoleum, uh, which makes it very easy to clean. So when you start talking about using linoleum on the floor, it is so easy to clean when, uh, like during the winter time, because we do a, uh, a deep method for this hay, and we actually use that for in our garden. So. Uh, it's actually very easy to clean, so we just take a scoop, shovel that up, 
and uh, put in some fresh and we're good to go. And you can see the chickens outside, they love it. And what we did was just cut a hole in the side over there. And the producer's pride, if you haven't watched that video, check our other videos because we actually built that producer's pride uh, run on the outside. So that is actually working really well. So we did slide this up to that other pen. So now it's creating a nice big run for them. It's actually working pretty well. So I'll also show you a nice little cute solar lamp that the wifey picked out. And kudos to the wifey. She did a beautiful job painting this. And here is the nest box. So basically all I did was I wanted to make sure that the top was in line here with the roof. That just allows snow to come off of it and rain to be able to wick right away from it, which actually works pretty well. A couple of hinges and you lift up and that is the nesting boxes. So you have easy access. You don't have to go inside to get the eggs or anything. So you actually have access right out here for that. So that actually works really, really well. And then we just took the producer's pride that we built and uh, basically just attached it to that. So in essence, we got a very nice chicken coop and run for our breast chickens and uh, they love it. And as you can see the ducks in the background, they're loving it too. <laughs> but uh, this is actually working hey, really To show you what we did outside on this side is we actually just cut a hole in the side of the wall and this is just a regular piece of plexiglass, drilled a couple holes in that. And uh, that's gonna work out great for the winter time. And the thought is when spring and summer roll around, we're just gonna take these screws out and replace it with some hardware cloth. So that way they get some nice ventilation through there, which that works uh, very well. And here is how we operate the sliding door. So it's just basically a nylon string with a little key ring attached to the end of it. And all you do is you just let it go and there it is closed. Grab a hold of it and give a tug. And now it's open and you just put that over on that screw right there just like that. 